Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emano, I'm an airline pilot and in this video I'm going to show you how to taxi the Antonov 225 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now we've just completed the pushback and the engine start and have completed all the associated procedures, so let's get going. First of all we are going to extend the taxi lights and switch them on. It's gonna take a few seconds and once the taxi lights are extended we switch the switch back into the off position and we can release our parking brake and make our way towards the runway. Note that due to the huge varieties of different weights at which you may find your Antonov, taxi might need a lot of thrust or it might just need no thrust at all. In any case, start by applying just a little bit of power like I'm doing over here and you will get your airplane moving. Note that since we are sitting in a very high seating position in this airplane, keep in mind this plane is as tall as a six-story building, the perception of speed is going to be quite different, so especially when you get used to the plane at first, I recommend to use your GPS in order to get a sense of the ground speed that you are doing to learn how quickly you are actually taxiing the airplane. The next thing to be aware of here is the sheer length of the Antonov. Now, the length of the plane means that we need to be very careful when taking turns in order to keep our entire aircraft on the taxiway. We are going to approach a turn up here and you will soon see what I mean. Now, keep in mind the standard taxi speeds still apply and if you are not aware, on a straight taxiway you should do a maximum of 30 knots, on an apron 15 knots, on a turn it should be a maximum of 10 and then finally on contaminated surfaces a maximum of 5 knots. So we're taking our turn over here and you can see how I overshot the taxiway with my cockpit in order to keep the main gears of the plane on the center line. Now have a look at how this looks like from the inside Note that the entire airplane is still located on the center line. Okay, now that we have a long straight line ahead, let's go ahead and accelerate a little bit. And we are about to cross a runway, so let's check clear left, clear right, turn the strobe light on, and off we go. It is quite difficult to judge the speed of the plane and you don't have a ground speed display right in front of you like you have on pretty much any western built aircraft. So your only source of judging your ground speed is by looking at the GPS which is outside your primary field of view and then even blocked by the reverse thrust lever. So check this out, we're currently doing 26 knots and if you're looking outside it doesn't look that fast does it? But if we go to the outside view, you can see that we are actually taxiing at quite a decent speed up here. Okay, we are clear of that runway, so turn the strobe light back off. And at the end of this taxiway, we will have to do another turn, so I'm going to show you once again how to keep the plane on the center line over there. Looking at the GPS, we can see we are now doing a speed of 25 knots still, and at least for me as a Boeing 737 pilot, this really looks like we are doing only like 10 knots or something like that. So keeping an eye on your speed is very important in this airplane. It gets very easy to overspeed with this and the brakes are not really very effective in here. So for demonstrational purposes, once we reach the next turn, I'm going to show you what full braking can achieve in this. And believe me already, it is not very much. So planning ahead is really important. Similarly, depending on your payload, it is important to keep an eye on your speed as you might be accelerating in idle thrust. In any case, the recommended technique is to add just a little bit of thrust like command maybe 30% up there and wait for your airplane to accelerate slowly. Only when you are very close to your maximum takeoff weight or let's say when you're in the region of about 600 tons and more, then you might need a little bit more thrust in order to actually get the airplane moving. 
Oh, we're approaching that turn, so let's slow the airplane down. Slowly. This is maximum braking right now. And as you saw, it takes quite a while for the airplane to slow down. And things look very slow right now, but checking the GPS, we are still doing 12 knots, so we're still faster than we should be for that turn. Okay, approaching the turn right now, aim to keep the airplane on the center line with its main gear, and that may require having to oversteer with the flight deck. Now, going outside right now, we are actually going well along the taxiway. Alright, this concludes the taxi tutorial. I hope that you have learned something on here. The main lesson over here, be gentle with your thrust, especially when you are at lower weights, like most flight simmers will be most of the time. Be very gentle with your thrust in order not to accelerate too fast. Be aware that things will seem a lot slower in this plane, because you are sitting at a very high point of view. And finally, be aware that your brakes will need time in order to slow the airplane down. So don't let it get too fast and brake too late. That is not a very good combination in this airplane. Thank you very much for watching. Next up, we'll head on to the runway and take off. But that is going to be for a separate video. If you like the channel, then consider supporting it using the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below, or by becoming a channel member, which is going to grant you exclusive early access to new videos before they are released for the public. For now, thank you very much for watching, and see you all again soon.